<laughs> right. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me here, Slash. Who of you play games here? Can you raise your hands? Have you played games before? Right, that's a lot of you. So Fungi's aims to ease the pain to transition from Web 2 to Web 3 for game developers. So gaming is a $300 billion market, and Web 3 gaming, being part of that, is going to be a $24 billion market in 2028. Actually, 50% of all blockchain activities are coming from gaming. And there's an unique, uh, increasing number of unique active wallets in the gaming sector compared to other uh, vectors of uh, blockchain. So we know something about building a blockchain game because we built our own Web3 game called Ultimate Bottle Arena at uba.gg. You can play the game. If you need the tokens, let me know. I'll send that to you, and you can buy the new cards that can be played in that game. It's on Polygon blockchain. And also, through dozens of talks with game studios, we just know that Web 2 to Web 3 transition is just painful. Number one is that they lack the blockchain experience inside those game studios. And because we're targeting small and medium-sized game developers, they don't have that skills. And number two is it takes time and it takes a lot of work to actually build your NFT marketplace inside the game as well as your wallet. That's why we're creating that. And number three is that existing solutions, they partially solve the problem. So that's why we build the blockchain infrastructure to support that, to save the game developers months of work into integrating NFTs inside their games. They can grow their player base frictionlessly with our crypto wallets. They can manage everything, including tokens, chains, and uh, the transaction fee on Marketplace in a simple developer dashboard. And we are making a Unity Unreal SDKs so that they can build in their native game development environments. So let's talk with our first product that we're, build, we're building. Fungi's wallet is a crypto wallet that allows players to get the wallet without them even knowing that. So the huge friction in Web3 gaming is going to be taken down thanks to our product. Players now can log into the game with just email and password or social logins, and underneath, there's going to be a wallet created for them. We are partnering up with one of the top industry leaders in the security of these um, wallets. And they can also change the logo, change the customized branding in this product. And this wallet can work on more than 30 chains. For the last year, we have been building our own NFT marketplace that is accessible at altiarena.com. You can take a look. So now we want to outsource that, and we want to allow the game developers to build the NFT marketplace with a few steps. Instead of months and hundreds of thousands of dollars of development, now they can change the logo, change the layouts, and they can have their own multi-chain, multi-currency marketplace to let the players buy and sell the NFTs inside their games. With a simple dashboard, where the game developers, they can manage the NFTs, manage tokens, manage users and wallets. They can now easily set up their own NFT marketplace in under a few clicks. They can set up their own domain name and you know, customize their appearance as they wish. So we spent over the last 14 months to build the product. You can access it. And we had over $200,000 in NFT sales. 215 NFT sellers and more than 7,000 NFTs in our marketplace. Our business model is simple. As a platform as a service, we charge customers with monthly subscription fee, with a transaction fee from the NFT sales on the marketplace, and for every API call to our backend. We have a repeatable sales process. We have generated already the first revenue, and we are bringing even more customers. We're using a repeatable sales process that has been done in under everything that has, you see here has been done under one month. I'm Duke, and I've been building companies for the last 10 years. And last year, I've, met, I've been working on this project with Wojciech for the last year. Wojciech, our CTO and co-founder, was one of the first to build a crypto exchange in 2017, the, the year that Binance was actually created. And one of our team members, John, who recently joined us, 
was a senior vice president at Paramount Pictures of Gaming. So let's have a look at how our products perform. So thank you for everyone for listening and don't miss the next era of, of, of gaming and join us in our journey. Thank you. <laughs>